Federal Independent MP Tony Windsor says Peter Slipper should not return to the Parliamentary Speaker's Chair until all claims against him are resolved. Mr Windsor is travelling in northern New South Wales from where he joins us now on the phone. Tony Windsor, good morning. Thanks for your time. Why have you changed your position on this matter? Well, I haven't changed my position. I've taken a bit of time to actually uh, look at the particular allegations uh, and uh, look at the uh, position of Speaker and the prominence of the position of Speaker. And my personal advice to Peter Sleeper, and I intend to speak to him, uh, is to not allow this to become uh, a vote on the floor of the House. I think it's uh, the, the position is far more important than that. Uh, than to become a political toy on the floor of the House, which it may become. And uh, my advice to him would be to step aside uh, whilst uh, the investigations, both investigations, are going ahead and then uh, uh, then resume the chair in, if, in fact, <coughs> there's found to be no case to answer. But you had previously said that he was entitled to the presumption of innocence and shouldn't be required to stand down on the basis of rumours or unconfirmed facts. Well, I've said that he... He's, in due, he's due the due processes of law, and I, and I stand by that. Everybody is. Uh, I saw what Nick Greiner had to go through uh, back in those days when he was found guilty and then resigned before uh, he, uh, <coughs> his appeal process came through. This is significantly different uh, to that in my mind. It's not about law. It's about the position of the Speaker, not, not the person who is the Speaker, the position of Speaker in our political system uh, and, and uh, how prominent and critical it is to our institution. And uh, I think it would be in the interests uh, of the Parliament and the, and the people, obviously, but, but Peter Slipper, uh, personally, if he was to <coughs> stand aside, I would hate to see this become a vote on the parliament, and I'm sure that's what Tony Abbott would in fact do, uh, to make a political uh, judgment on, on a very important day, budget day, uh, critical to the economy, all of those things. Uh, I think uh, if it became a vote on the parliament and we actually voted the speaker out of his position or, or set him aside or whatever the particular agenda may uh, in fact be, I, uh, I think uh, in the interests of the position, and I, no, I think Peter Slipper would see this, uh, in an objective sense, in the position of Speaker. It would be best that he does step aside and let these allegations get cleared up. And on a personal level, I think uh, he'd, he'd be better off too. Uh, what do you make of the criminal allegations and the civil um, suit as well against Peter Slipper, which is of more concern to you? Well, I, I'm not the judge and jury, yeah, and I'm not a legal person, don't want to be. I think the Parliament's got too many lawyers in it to start with without me. Uh, becoming the judge and jury. Uh, uh, my concern here is, is, is about the parliament and the, and the, the, the speakership, the role of the speaker uh, in the parliament. Uh, uh, both cases will get tested. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to try and guess at the outcomes, but uh, as long as they're hanging out there and the, <coughs> this sort of steamrolling conjecture is going on, the position of speaker is um, you know, coming under some scrutiny and question, and I think it would be far better off for all concerned if it didn't become a political vote on the Parliament as to his future, uh, it uh, became a decision of his own. And where does that leave you in terms of how you'll vote with the government? Well, <laughs> what am I voting on? <laughs> uh, I vote with the government on some issues, uh, against the government on some issues, uh, negotiate with the government on many issues before they become they come before the House. That's the nature of, uh, of a home parliament. Uh, if the question is, uh, will I, if, does my agreement with the government stand because of allegations against a member of parliament? Uh, yes, it does. I'm not in the in the business, as I wasn't, uh, as, as I was with Nick Griner too. I wasn't in the business of just turning over a government because of a clamouring op opposition and a few other things happening where there's allegations being made about uh, about people. But this is that's not the issue that I'm really talking about today. It's about the, the role of Speaker and the prominent role that it plays in our the parliamentary institution. I think if we're all concerned, it would be best if, if Peter Slipper stood aside, clarified the air one way or the other and, uh, and then, then resume the seat if there's found to be no case to answer. But you do hold a reasonably powerful position in Parliament now as one of the key independents, one of the crossbenchers who's decided to vote with the government, so you can't exactly separate the two issues that simply, can you? Well, I can. 
you mightn't. <laughs> I can. I don't. I don't have an. I don't have uh, an issue. Uh, I don't. Don't see the two of us running in the same street. Uh, and in fact, why? If the logic holds, why would I support Peter Slipper standing aside if it makes the uh, Parliament far more delicate in terms of uh, uh, sustaining longevity? Uh, this, uh, this is, I, I would hope this is a little bit more principled than that. Tony Windsor, we thank you for your time this morning. Uh, thanks, Karina.